everyone and welcome back to my channel today i'll be continuing what if jiraiya raised Nar well jiraiya and sonate raised naruto now this is gonna sound funny but i promise you i look directly at this what if at part eight the part i just finished watching because i literally forgot that i made it and i thought i finished it so the entire time i'm out here recording i'm recording videos and I'm completely skipping over this one. <laughs> yeah. So. That's nice. Anyway, let's get into the video. So, when Naruto, Jiraiya, and Tsunade finally actually are able to make it back to their house, Naruto doesn't want to be there. And... Jirai and Tsunade can tell this because as like they're looking at Naruto, Naruto has not stopped looking at Karin. And it's not for the reasons that you think. Naruto knows where Karin just came from because Naruto saw Karin following the sound four before they left her. Yeah, so like Naruto is not like, he does not want to, like he don't want no parts of like, he don't want to help Karin, he don't want to do nothing for her at all. So, like, when they get in the house, Tsunade tries to, like, introduce them, and Naruto just goes into his room, and he's like, nah, I'm fine, I don't, uh-uh. And, like, eh, kind of, like, she doesn't care, but it's still, like, damn. He, he, he just really just walks in the room. So, like, Tsunade just tells Kari that there's, like, an, a spare bedroom next to Naruto's, so she she uh they she eats because why not and they she goes to bed and when naruto wakes up and like he goes outside and he starts training as usual but when he turns and looks he sees like uh kari just like staring out the window like not like not doing anything she's just staring out the window and naruto you know kind of like weirded out and angry because he don't like her he 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 leaves like he doesn't he bothered he after he figures out that she's just staring at him he doesn't want to stay around there so he just leaves and Jiraiya walks out there because he was supposed to be with training with Naruto and he sees that Naruto's going and he looks back at the house and he sees that Karin was staring out the window so Tsunade takes Karin out to train and you know healing or whatever before she figured out exactly what was going on with Kari. so naruto comes back later on that day or right around the same time i'm gonna say just a little bit later than when Kari came back when Kari and tsunade came back so naruto walks in the house and he sees like Kari's door is like cracked open and tsunade sounds really angry so he thinks that you know she's getting you know she's getting you know told about herself you know she's getting shit talked so he like he kind of tries to peek, peek into the room or just listen in and when he like he puts his eye through like the little doorway to see what's going on he sees like a whole bunch of like bites and junk on her like on her arms and legs and this kind of like it scares naruto and it like it sickens him and everything yeah it, like it makes him Mm -mm, mm -mm. so like he he kind of like just runs in like not run into his room but he, he's like he's just standing there and then Jiraiya walks up behind him and he's like oh so you see it now huh and Karin was just standing like was sitting there on her bed while Sonate was trying to heal and bandage some of her wounds the, the ones that were fresh or in, in the ones that she can like kind of get off of her skin hopefully anyway so like as like she's doing this naruto like he he kind of just walks into his room like without saying anything to jiraiya but like he just walks into his room and the next day comes and naruto this time when uh Karin is telling but uh, fuck hold on hold on hold on hold on when Karin is watching him train Naruto, instead of leaving, he, he looked like he tells her to come outside. And 
like when she goes out there, Naruto like passes her like a, like I'm gonna say like a wooden sword basically. And he tells her like, hey, I, I still don't like you, but the least you could do is defend yourself given all your wounds. And Kaden, if she gets angry, like she doesn't, you know, she, she's mad at Naruto now. So when they're fighting, she, Naruto can actually see the anger in her movements. And he's trying to tell her like, hey, you need to calm all this down. You're getting too angry. You know, I, you, you can't be getting angry when you fight unless, you know, some of your power derives from your anger or comes from your anger. And Kadi's like, she's not trying to hear it. And Naruto, like, he's just block, not block, like, he's blocking somewhat. And then she, like, hits him in, like, the rib. And Naruto, like, he sees, like, okay. So I see what's going on here. And Naruto, like, blocks. Like, she kind of, like, tries to swipe down at his head. And Naruto blocks it. And he, like, he gets behind her and puts like the wooden tip of the sword to her like her back and he's like I won and he tells her like um you can't be led like that get to you and like she doesn't say anything she kind of just walks back into the house because she like Naruto basically told her that he did not like her and then proceeded to make fun of her scar yeah so she's not Eh, she's not very fond of Naruto right now. So when she walks back in the house, Tsunade, a fairly angry looking Tsunade, walks out. And Naruto, automatically knowing what this is, he immediately starts heading in the opposite direction. He does. He's not standing there. He's not looking clueless. He's just, I'm gonna go into the leaf village. So as he like, as he's walking in the opposite direction, Tsunade is getting closer and closer. So. Naruto, he tries to like jump into the trees to get away, but like as he's jumping into the trees, Tsunade is right, like he jumps into the tree, and like legit the tree ahead of him, Tsunade is standing in front of him. So like he's like, now he's stuck because, well, it's, it's a fucking signing. What can you do at this point? So like he's just standing, like he's standing there on the tree and he, before he could say anything, Tsunade kind of like punches him through like the branch that he was on. So like him and the branch falls. And Tsunade kind of like just starts walking back to the house, like mumbling some shit. And before like Naruto could say anything to her, she turns around and she tells him like, you know, I would at least thought you would have showed some type of interest in your own clan. And Naruto was like, the, the Uzumaki clan? The, the, the people that are supposed to be dead? What, what, you're telling me that she is one? And Tsunade looks at him and was like, you really, you really couldn't tell that she was, um, that, that, you know, she was an Uzumaki? What, what, I don't know. What, what made you think she wasn't one, Naruto? And Naruto was like, shit, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I, I don't know. I just thought she wasn't one. Y'all said they were extinct. I thought I was the last remaining. Anyway, um, so Tsunade tells Naruto like, if he's gonna like train with her, try to keep like those scars and junk out of his mouth because like that's not something, you know, he should be very proud of, like of saying just openly. So Naruto like, he tells her that he's going to try to get the full story from Jiraiya later. And Tsunade was like, yeah, because I'm too angry. I'm going to tell you, I'll punch you in the nose. And like Naruto was like, I hope, I hope the next time she comes to punch me, she doesn't use the damn, uh, uh, she doesn't punch me in the nose. It's like, no. Anyway, so Naruto makes it into the leaf village and he starts telling Sasuke and, uh, Sakura about like Kari and Sasuke you know he's mad at the fact that Naruto commented about her scars but he doesn't necessarily care at the same time because she was with the sound for although Naruto although Sasuke is eventually you know anyway so like Naruto notices like Naruto Sasuke got like bandages on his neck and junk and Naruto, Sasuke, 
Naruto asks Sasuke, like, yo, what's that? And Sasuke's like, oh, nothing, I, I, you know, during the fight, you know, I got a little scratch. But Naruto was, wasn't around Sasuke, but if Sasuke got a scratch on his, like, got a, a, a wound on his neck, and Tsunade didn't tell him, then there has just something going on here. So, like, he turns and he looks at uh, Sakura, and Sakura is like fuming. And Naruto looks at her and was like, Before you even say something, I'm gonna go back to talk to Sasuke. And she was like, So you don't wanna hear what I have to say about what you said? And Naruto was like, Knowing you, I really don't. And like, she's like, Now she's even like, now she's angry. So, like, Naruto goes back to talking to Sasuke, and he notices, like, Sasuke is getting, like, distant. Like, he's not necessarily, you know, messing with Naruto the way that they used to be, like, messing with each other. So, he, like, Sas Naruto starts, like, asking Sasuke all these different types of questions and junk, and Sasuke just randomly gets this outburst, and it's in, like, the, almost, like, somewhat the middle of the city, or it's the village. So like a whole bunch of people look and like Sasuke kind of, he just dips out after everybody starts looking and whispering and Naruto was like, oh, what fuck? So you just gonna leave me here with Sakura? And Sakura was like, I don't see what's the problem. I'm a fun person. And Naruto was like, yeah, let's go meet up a guy. And, um, Sakura was like, how do you even know him? Like, <laughs> honestly? And, like, Naruto was like, are you, are you stupid? We live in the same village. You, you think I didn't know them? Okay. So, like, Naruto starts running off in, like, the, way, the direction that he sends his guy in Rock Lee. And they were like in the middle of like a scouting party, like just to scout out the woods and in, in the, uh, around the leaf village. So just to make sure ain't nobody else you know, planning on attacks or nothing. Got no bombs and stuff planted. So he, he meets up with uh, him and Sakura, eventually meets up with Guy uh, and his team. And like in the midst of like them finding stuff. I'm gonna say 1010 10 finds like a giant, not like a giant paper bomb, but I'm gonna say it's like relatively decent paper bomb. Like, so it was like a clay, I'm gonna say it's like a clay ball surrounded in like bombs or whatever. And it was left by the, left there by like Orochimaru. So it got like some sophisticated type thing going on. So like, yeah, they like, they see it, they know what it is and they go back and they report it to the like guy starts talking about going to report it to the leaf village but naruto was like why don't y'all just like blow it up and like neji tells him like yo that's a stupid idea like for someone that's supposed to be getting trained by two legendary sani that's that's a stupid fucking idea you're a stupid kid aren't you and naruto looks at neji and was like why are you talking to me? Because I was talking to your leader and guy was like, no, Naruto, we, we can't blow it up. That's not that's not something that we do. We were meant to just, you know, so they can send a bomb squad out here. And Naruto was like, no, see, it's simple. And he, p he picks up a kunai and he throws it at the bomb and it blows up, but it doesn't hurt anybody, but it still blows up. And it like when they had when they start heading back to the village, they like a whole bunch of shinobi are in the front and like Jiraiya asks his guy, what was that? And J Jiraiya, like as guys telling Jiraiya what happened, Jiraiya looks at Naruto and was like, you couldn't follow an order? Like you weren't even supposed to be out there, but you couldn't follow an order? And like Naruto is, like he's like whoa because this ain't he's not used to that and he kind of remembers what he said to 
like to Kadi because when Tsunade was mad and if Tsunade's mad, she probably ended up trying to take it out on Jiraiya, which made Jiraiya mad at Naruto. You know, a lot of stuff could happen. So he's like, okay, let's um, I'm gonna reevaluate it real quick. So, you know, he, he's trying to understand like where he went wrong and he's like, yeah, kind of, you know. And before he could say anything, Jiraiya kind of like just grabs him and he's like dragging him back at this, like at this point, at this point before Naruto could like actually say anything to Jiraiya to like plead his case or anything, like Jiraiya basically just tells him like, you know, you know, if you were actually with your friend Sasuke, instead of out doing things that you weren't supposed to be doing, maybe he would still be here. And Naruto was like, huh? Like, what you say? And Tsunade tells Naruto that, oh, Sasuke ran. He, he packed up a bag. He left you a note, but he ran. We don't know where he went, but he's gone. Your one friend, quotation marks, is gone. And this is where I'm gonna end this part off. If y'all enjoyed the video, drop a like. If y'all enjoy my content, please subscribe. Anyway, this has been Shinobi. Peace.